Hello, this is the Belkasoft tutorial series. In this video, we'll show you how to deploy an agent. There are several possible deployment options. One, server and endpoints are in the same address range. Two, endpoints are on the outside of the server address range, meaning an endpoint is behind a router. Three, both the server and endpoints are behind different routers. A deployment can be either local or remote. Before starting the remote deployment, you may need to check for the following. One, that you have local admin rights on the endpoint computer, meaning the user name and password. And two, the WMI is switched on in the firewall settings both on the server and the endpoint computers. The WMI service is running the remote ports are forwarded and opened on the router. The local Belkasoft R port is open for the incoming connections in Windows Defender Firewall and in the Antivirus Firewall, if there are any. How to deploy the agent locally. Press Deploy and then the Windows button. Select the option, My endpoints are in the same address range as my remote acquisition. Select Local Deployment. Set the local IP and any available port for the local endpoint. Select the option Configure Automatically if there's no particular difference which port to use. A random available port will be assigned. Select the existing local deployment folder and complete the process. The task window shows information about the status and the results of the deploying process. Upon completion, the folder with the deployed agent will be opened automatically. Double click on run as service.bat file. If the agent is installed and running correctly, the Belkasoft R's endpoints window will show this endpoint. The second option is to deploy the agent with a Windows Management Instrumentation, a WMI. To do this, first turn on WMI. Then press Win plus R, type control panel, press OK. In the control panel, find Windows Defender Firewall, open it and click on Allow an App or Feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click Change Settings in the right upper corner of the window. Scroll down to Windows Management Instrumentation, WMI. Then check the checkbox to allow WMI feature. Press OK. Please note that the WMI feature should be active on both the server and on the endpoint. Press Deploy and then press the Windows button. Select option My endpoints are on the same address range as the remote acquisition. Select WMI Deployment. Specify an IP for the endpoint computer and pick an available TCP IP port, or choose Configure Automatically. In this case, a random available port will be automatically assigned. Set the deployment folder on the endpoint, and then enter the endpoint name or IP address. Enter the endpoint admin username and password. These are required fields. Complete the process. Upon completion, the agent will appear in the remote computer in the specified folder. The agent will run automatically. Upon successful deployment, the endpoint computer appears in the Belkasoft R's endpoints window. The third option is to deploy an agent with Group Policy Objects, or GPO. If you use GPO deployment, the Belkasoft R generates a folder with all the files needed for the agent's deployment accompanied with the script, which creates the needed group policy. Once this folder is generated, copy it to the domain controller and run the script. 
Both operations, the folder creation and the script generation, may take up to 15 minutes each. Press Deploy and then the Windows button. Select the option, My Endpoints are in the same address range as my remote acquisition. Select GPO Deployment. Select an existing local deployment folder and complete the process. Upon completion, this folder is opened automatically. Copy this folder on the domains controller and run install gpo.bat. The needed group policy will be created. After the reboot of the endpoint computers, the agent will be installed automatically on every endpoint machine within the domain. These endpoints will appear in the endpoints list. Thank you for watching this video. We greatly appreciate your time and interest.